Now we're Sorry. talking. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I was going to give you the big build up there. Do it. But I'm not going to bother now. I'm just going to say Michael Ball's here. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about the Empire. Yeah. Which is. Which You're, is out on paper, Excuse me, come on. Sunday Times bestseller. That's yeah. terribly grown up. <laughs> that is, isn't it? It was really, really, really cool. A brilliant read. I romped through it and, and I wanted to know what was going to happen. Is there going to be more? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of writing at the moment. I've done about 30,000 words. I was, as I was saying to you before, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. knowing where you're going. It's yeah. knowing what your your big finale is going exactly. to be like in a show. And, it and through... it'll change. No, that's interesting because you said when you were when you were writing this, it was like writing a show. It was yeah. like being in a show yeah. and going on that particular route. Absolutely. Ah. You need to you need to know who your characters are. And like happens in rehearsal, things can suddenly be thrown up and you think, yeah. oh, this can change. And this you can be, go that these way. can develop. Yeah, yeah, but as long yeah. for, for me, as long as I know the big uh, the big moments yes. that we're heading for, and take the uh, the, so the, the audience it, on a journey. You really are, and the thing is, this is a love letter, really, to the theatre, which exactly you adore with yeah. every fibre of your I being. I really, really do. <laughs> you do. And it's it's uh, you know, people who work in the theatre are my tribe, and um, yeah, and, and it doesn't change. You know, the book is set in 1922. Uh, which was a pivotal changing moment in theatre. Mm. It's when the influence from America was coming over with the musicals. It's uh, post-First uh, World War. People needed entertainment. Absolutely. Uh, the change in the role for women, you know, the suffragette mm. movement, it's populated with a lot of very powerful women, which of which there are many mm. in the theatre. Oh, very much so. And, Pioneers. And, and it's set in, in a building... That I just love, <laughs> you know. I, I walk into a theatre. Remember the first time going into a theatre as a punter, mm. and and looking at this beauty and this magic around me, the the, the auditorium, the oh, foyer. It's so special, yeah. And then you get backstage and you see how utterly different it it's is. It's really crummy and it's, kind of falling it, apart it, yeah, and all that. And you think, so the glamour. Uh -uh. That's the exciting part <laughs> of it, you know, and, and those characters that make up yeah, the yeah. family that is a company. It's such a great idea, it really is. Thank you. And Billy, who suffers cr crippling stage fright, yeah, yeah. this is you. You can write all the things that you went through yourself. You well, know what we, it's we, like. I think we can only write about what we, we, we know mm. and what we've experienced if we want to write with authority. Yeah. And, yeah, so I wanted to have this character, Billy, who had been through what I went through when I, I uh, was doing Les Mis, through uh, panic attacks, through a breakdown and such, oh, that, losing your nerve. Yeah. And, and finding the techniques to get past that, to yeah. be able to get back onto and a stage. And through. It's and, amazing. And, and you did it. And what's interesting, when, when, it, when it happened to me, no-one was talking about this stuff. Yeah. You know, this is 1986, I think it mm -hmm. is. Uh, now people are talking, and now when I talk about uh, mental health issues, you see so many people go, I went through the same thing and we yeah. couldn't talk about it. So it's about talking about it and about getting... And that character is so good. He's I mean, great. It, I, I, mean, I love Bill. There's going to be more Bill. We need to be like well, Bill. Well, well I'm, as I, I said, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, obviously, you're looking at this and it's so, you're so vivid and you get the images in your head and, you, and all of that. It's got, at some point, it's got to be on the telly or in the big screen. Well, we're hoping. I, I mean, we're, I we're having so, a Michael. chat at the moment. That's good. all I can say about Chats that. Chats are ongoing. Chats are I'm ongoing. Glad, I'm glad to hear it. My people will call their people. Indeed. <laughs> you obviously love the theatre. Yeah. You're going to be back in Aspects of Love. It's a sort of reimagining of Aspects of Love, kind of where it's kind of completing the circle in a way. That's what's very emotional yeah. for me. I, I just finished doing Hairspray. And, uh, what is it, a year and a half ago now, yeah. just, just after the lockdowns. And I'm sitting and I'm thinking, well, what would I I'd like to do next? Michael Ball in yeah. what is going to work? And I happened to... I was away with Kath... And I put the telly on and Moonraker Ooh, was on. Yes. Okay. And Roger, yes. Roger Moore, uh -huh. was, was Bond. Now, Roger and I met. We were great friends up to the end. We, uh -huh. But we met rehearsing Aspects of Love. Right. And he was going to be in it and he pulled out of the production. I was thinking about Rog and I'm thinking... I had a big birthday last year and I went, God, I'm nearly the age that Roger was when he did... Aspects, and it was like it was literally like a, ah, a light bulb okay. went on. Oh, so I phoned nice. Andrew, Lloyd Webber, it, Chung, <laughs> yep. and took him to lunch and put this idea, and he loved it. Yeah, uh, it's 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 among his greatest scores. It's oh, a very different song, uh, very different kind of a show for him. Right. 
um, um, it's a chamber piece. I wanted to get the team that I originally did Sweeney Todd with to oh, head on board. Jonathan Kent directing, Nick Skilbeck doing the music and so on. Um, and they've all gone yes. So it's, it's one thing, you know, so all Lorraine, coming together. you have an idea and, and then, then suddenly you're rehearsing in three weeks' time. Gosh. Listen, I have to ask you something very, very, very important. OK. There's a 99-year-old lady, she's called Dorothy Walsh, and Dorothy is... I mean, I say super fan. I am talking huge super fan. She's at the Rose Court Care Home in Radcliffe in Manchester. Well, can you just say hello to Dorothy? Of course I can. Dorothy, <laughs> why aren't you here, my lovely? Well, come and see us in Aspect. And um, I'm sending you the biggest hug. I'll come and see you on your 100th birthday. It's a date. <gasps> oh, We're on. Michael, that is so cool. She will be waiting for you. Oh, look at you. her. Oh, God bless her. <laughs> Nice. Imagine being 99. She looks blinking great for 99, I'll tell you that. She does. But look, meanwhile, yep. Dorothy can enjoy the Empire. She can. She's going to hopefully be seeing it on a screen near her to celebrate her 100th birthday. One can hope. Um, so much, so much going on in your life. You need to come back. I'm a... Anytime. I'm just down the road. Just down the road. I'll pop in tomorrow, shall Thank I? You. Please do. <laughs> Aspects of Love. When did it start, May? We, May the 12th we opened, just Beautiful. for a limited season, six Fantastic. months. Fantastic. It's Friday, so that means Alison and Dermot are here in this morning. Hello, you two. Hi. Like a ball. <laughs>